Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, tonight we're live at the Tank in Gloucester, where the fishermen take on the Mustangs from Medford in boys varsity hockey. Tonight's game is brought to you by Cape Ann Media Productions. Camp can handle all of your business, commercial, real estate, and industrial media needs, including. FAA licensed drone operations. Cape Ann Media Productions 978 879 3226. Also, if you would like to help to defray the cost of sports coverage here on Cape Ann Live, go to tiny URL tinyearl.com slash Cape Ann Live or Scan the QR code on the screen to leave any amount of donation. That will be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. I'm Phil Nicastro. Jim Capillo on the camera tonight. Cape and Savings Bank Tournament. Gloucester versus Medford here tonight. The Mustangs. Medford comes into this game 4-0. Oh. Um, I went over there four games. Their competition level has not been that great. Uh, they won one game, 11 nothing over Lynn. They won uh, eight to one over Everett, um, and they won two other games by a wide margin as well. But we'll see what happens here tonight. And the Gloucester Fishermen, two and one, and they come out with new jerseys on tonight. <laughs> All right, number eight. DJ McDonough. Jason Fados, number 13. Christopher Alexander. Number 11, Vincent Castro Jr. Interesting. And number four just come out, but he's not on the roster. All right. Joe Orlando on D for the fish. Line one. Will Lothers. The defensive pairing on the first line for the fish. Colby Jewell, left wing. Brett Cunningham at 10, number center at center. All right, Jackson Hakes. And Nick Tarantino will start in goal tonight for the Gloucester Fishermen. The previous game, Marblehead versus Barrington, Rhode Island. Barrington, Rhode Island, one, two to one. We'll get to that in a minute. Our national anthem.
right, that was our national anthem. And like I said just a minute ago, Barrington, Rhode Island beat Marblehead in the first game of this tournament, 2-1. to one. Excellent game. That game was seen live here on KPN Live. It will be on, it will be on YouTube as well. So the winner of this game will play Barrington, Rhode Island tomorrow night at 8 o'clock for the KPN uh, Savings Bank Championship game. Remember, uh, Barrington, Rhode Island, they won this tournament last year. So the defending champs will uh, will go to defend their crown tomorrow night against one of these two teams here. Like I said, Medford, 4-0. They haven't played the toughest schedule yet. And I looked at their schedule. This is probably this is probably their toughest game to date. So we'll see what happens here tonight. Jewel takes Cunningham. First line. Here we go. Medford has control. It goes into the zone. It's in the corner. Medford goes in after it. Will Lau that's fighting for it. Cunningham passes it out. Good pass there. Goes in behind the net. Hakes hustling after it. Cunningham comes out with it. No one's there for the fisherman. Here comes Medford. They get they bring it in behind the net. Orlando on the check. Cunningham. Jewel gets it out of the zone. Uh, Gloucester on a line change. They throw it in deep. Go to the far side. Charlie Terrellick is out there. And Jewel stayed out. For that extra second. Oh, there would have been. Charlie Terrellick just missed that pass in the neutral zone. Ended up being icing. So the second line is out there. You got Carvelis. Uh... Let's see, Colby Warren and Charlie Terelick. Puck goes behind the Gloucester net. Still on the boards. Carvelis. Well, Jacano out there. Let me st Here comes Chris Carvelis. Gets him behind the defenseman. Finds Terelik behind the net. Terelik with it. Swings it around. Gets into the middle. Passes it down low to Carvelis. Chris with it. He steals it. Terelik has it. Number eight is out there for Gloucester. And there's no eight showing up. Terrellick shot wide. Stolen by Terrellick again. Makes a nice pass. Out front, Terrellick deflected. San Filippo. Terrellick shot save. Number one, the goaltender. For Medford, and of course, number one doesn't show up on the roster. Okay, now out there, William Lynn, Martell, and Pierce. That's the line. Martell on the far side. Fishermen have nice new shirts on tonight, but there's no names behind them. <laughs> Saved by Tarantino. Fishermen are two and one on the season. These games do count in the, in the standings. Jewel tried to couldn't get the pass. 
Cade Cooper is out there with Jewell now. And Cunningham. Lowthers to Orlando to Jewell. Good pass in there. Jewell, nice move. Gains the blue line. Gets broken up. Cooper has it. Cunningham, shot, save. Uh-oh. Deflection. Forward has it. Broken up. Nice play. That was Chase Sargent, number 23, with the breakup. Cooper with it. Uh, Cunningham was offside, so he couldn't take it in the zone. Here comes Medford. Gets around the defenseman. He gets it around the net. Looking for someone to pass to, but he can't. Cunningham comes up with it. Cunningham stops short. Takes it behind the net. Passes it to the sergeant. Sergeant has it. Jewel along the near boards. Sergeant again. Nice pass. Hakes. Martell is out there with Hakes. And William Lynn, number nine. Lynn with it. Over to Hakes. Martell. Oh, they couldn't get it. San Filippo get brings it in the zone. But Medford has control. Kept in. And Hakes to San Filippo. Terelik. He's got Hakes. Terelik with a shot. Just wide. Hakes. Terelik has it. Charlie. <clears throat> and they get it outside the zone. Lejacono knocks it back in. Medford puts it in deep in the zone. Lojo goes and gets it. But Carvelis has it. Chris. Makes a move. Makes another move. Here comes Carvelis. Oh, they couldn't get it to him. Lothers with it. Lothers keeps it in. But Medford has it. And here comes Medford. One-on-one -on -one shot. Goes out of play. Nine minutes, 23 seconds remaining in the first period. Shots on goal. Two to one Gloucester. And I want to thank all you folks who are tuning in to KPN Live's coverage of Gloucester High Hockey. Happy holidays to you folks. Shot in. Tarantino ties it up. The face off. Cade Cooper. Gets it up to Cunningham. And Cunningham's off sides. And he goes all the way behind the Gloucester net. Sargent. Sargent with it. Makes a spin move. Cunningham. Over to Cooper. And Cooper couldn't finish it. The pass was kind of behind him. Jewell gets it in. Cooper. Cunningham has it. Cunningham. Keeps it in. Shot. And it goes out of play. Eight minutes, 29 seconds remaining in the first period. If you want to make a donation to KPN Live, go to Tiny Earl, Tiny URL. Dot com slash KP Alive. Here comes Medford. They gain, they gain the blue line. They get a guy out front. Look out. Oh, broken up by San Filippo at the last second. Lojo when they're banging. They bring it out. Martel has it. G gets it out. Look for Hakes. Hakes plays it back. 
to Lojo. Lojo to San Filippo. We can't control it. So Medford has it in their own end. And here comes the Mustangs. Broken up. Carvelis. Carvelis, can he keep control? And he couldn't. He made a nice play in the neutral zone. Carvelis makes a wide pass. Can't control it. San Filippo with it. San Filippo finds Terelic. Kept in. Olid. Oh, it's offsides. All right, folks, number eight is being worn by Colby Warren. Cade Cooper. I'm glad I got that straight now because I knew he was a familiar guy. <laughs> Cooper behind the net. Finds Cunningham shot. Save. Nice save by the goaltender for Medford. Wearing number one. But, of course, his name don't show up. Hey, Cooper, Jewel, Cunningham are out there. Sam Sanfilippo's out there. Jewel, shot, save. Here comes Meffitt on the counterattack. Goes, goes in the Gloucester end. Behind the net. Stolen by Cunningham. Jewel comes around. Takes it behind the net. Resets. And he finds Cooper in that neutral zone. I mean, Cunningham, I mean. Cunningham trying to make a couple of moves. And he collides into the defenseman. No call. Jewel keeps it in, Jewel. And he gets tripped. No call there either. Up high. Orlando, shot. Did it go in? No goal. They said no. It hit the post. <coughs> And I think we're going to penalty coming up on Medford. Yeah. <clears throat> penalty coming up on Medford. All right. We have a roughing call coming up on the Medford team. Yeah, number 22, Jason Fedosi. Two minutes for roughing. Uh, and yeah, you know, I thought I was in too, Jim. But we're going to see a power play. All right. We got Cunningham, Hakes, Cooper. Nice play. Cunningham with his feet. Kept it in. Swings it to the other side over to Cooper. San Filippo. Over to Orlando when he uh, Orlando fanned on it. The puck was bouncing. Orlando passes it off to Cunningham. Cunningham with a nice move. Shot. Save. Hakes. Out front. And the net comes loose. Cade Cooper was right there, but he was being pushed into the net. And it came loose. The Fishman will get a new power play out there. Charlie Terlick, Colby Warren, and Carvelis will be out there. And Bedford, I mean, excuse me, Medford clears it. Sam Sanfilippo with it. Hands it off. Carvelis. Chris. Nice pass. Terelic. Shot over the net. Sam Sanfilippo with it. Over to Terelic. Shot. Goes wide. Sargent with it. Sargent. Back to Terelic again. 
Back to Sargent. Sargent, shot just wide. San Filippo. Carvelis has it. Fishman got a nice power play. It doesn't matter who's out there either. Up high. The shot. Save again. And the fishermen are racking up the shots now. It's seven to two. With four and a half minutes left in the first period, but there's no score. All right, now Cade Cooper comes out with Cunningham and Hakes. Orlando and uh, Jewel will be on defense for the uh, for the last 32 seconds of this power play. The fishermen had definitely have had the zone time. But uh, they got to find a way to score. Cunningham wins the face. Oh, no, he loses it. So Orlando has it. He's back in Gloucester's end. Orlando. Hakes trying to get there, but he can't. Fishman, one last rush on this power play. 13 seconds. 10 seconds left. And it doesn't look like they're going to be able to do it. All right, Jewel has it. Over to Orlando. To Cunningham. The power play is over now. But he finds Jewel. He's got Hakes. Jewel. Shot. Score! <laughs> Colby Jewel. <laughs> well, bouncing. There you see the replay. Jewel takes it in the middle. And I think it deflected off somebody's stick. But I think it was the uh, the, the Medford player. Was it? <laughs> so it's one nothing Gloucester. Terelik. Shot is in on the goalie. Here comes Bedford on the counterattack. Look out. Was Giacchino with it? Yeah, they give it to Colby Joel. And they give it to Sister Hakes. Puck is behind the Gloucester net. Taralik comes over to the uh, to the near side where uh, San Filippo with it. James he loses his stick and he just runs into the other player. I would have done the same thing. <laughs> but here comes Bedford, broken up. Nice play. The Medford team had a chance there. Here comes Terrellick. Nice move. Three on two. Gloucester. Offside. Number nine. William Lynn was one foot in the zone. Yeah. Yeah. He, he was getting backwards. Yeah. So they called an offside on that play. Uh, Giacomo Martel is out there. William Lynn and Hakes. Who's behind the net? William Lynn. Martel in there fighting for it. Martel. And Medford comes out of the zone with it. Sam Sanfilippo out there, number five. He's out there. With Chase Sargent. Which, which is to be the third line for Gloucester. Here comes Hakes. Hakes throws it in deep. Line chains Gloucester. Cunningham goes in after it. It comes out front. Jewel steals it. Jewel to Cunningham and he fanned on it. They had the perfect setup, but he missed a shot. Cooper battling to keep it in. He does. Here comes Cunningham. Shot. Save. Rebound, Jewel. Shot. Save. 
Rebound, uh, Cooper, shot, save. All, all three forwards had a chance. Orlando, shot, save again. And that will be an ice. No, we're not, no, we're not the goalie, so no ice. And uh, that's, that's all. Oh, no, we touched it. No, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It was inside the red line, icing on Gloucester. And the shot's on goal, 10-2, to Fisherman. One oh eight left first period. One nothing Gloucester on a goal by Colby Jewell. Shot in from the point. It's tied up. Medford, Medford wins the draw. They get it out front. But Carvellas gets it out of there. Here comes Chris. He's got Terrellick, has it. Charlie out front looking for a deflection, but it's tied up by the goaltender. I wish I knew this goaltender's name. Is he playing pretty good? Somebody. <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> Jewel, Cooper, and Cunningham is the line. Here comes Medford. They get it out of the zone. San Filippo breaks it up, but they on goal. Shot, rebound goes wide. And Medford with a little bit of a flurry there. They're up to five shots now. They just got three quick ones. Face off in the Gloucester zone. And it's kept in by Medford. Shot. Deflected wide. It's in front. Score! The Medford Mustangs tie it up. The puck was bouncing around. And the bounce doesn't always go your way. It's 1-1. With 21 seconds left in the first period. Out front. Comes out of the zone. Will Loth is with it. Havelis. Oh, we had Terelik. And that will do it. All right. At the end of one period, the Mustangs won. The Fishermen won. We'll be back with second period action. save her life. 
You stopped smoking. Now start screening. No matter how much you smoked, early detection could save you. Talk to your doctor or learn more at savedbythescan.org. All right, everybody, welcome back. KPN Live's coverage of Gloucester High School Hockey. Pretty good first period. Gloucester had the edge in play uh, territorially and shots. But the score is tied at one. Uh, Medford, the Mustangs, got a late goal to tie the game. Gloucester goal came by Colby Jewell. Here comes uh, Medford now. And their starting goalie took a Dixie when he came on the ice. So the previous game, like I said, Barrington, Rhode Island. They beat Marblehead. 2-1. to one. Here comes Gloucester now. So the winner of this game will uh, play for the Cape Man Savings Bank Championship tomorrow night. I guess the defending champions, Barrington, Rhode Island. The Cunningham Jewel Cooper line will start the second period. And we're underway. Medford with it. They clear it into the zone. Orlando gets it up to Jewel. Stays in the zone. Was it? Oh, yeah, offside. Yep. Yeah. Lowther's with it. Over to Cooper. Cunningham gets it out. No, he can't. Back to Orlando. Orlando loses it. And Medford had a chance right there. Lowther's with it. And it goes into the bench for a stoppage. And here comes the second line for Gloucester. Colby Warren, Charlie Terralick, and Chris Carvelis. San Filippo. And Lojacano uh, on D. Shot. Blocked. Terralick. Oh, he, oh, here comes Gloucester. A rebound. Warren. He had... Kept in by San Filippo. Lajacano with it. Lojo. Over to Terralik. And the fisherman can't keep it in. San Filippo with it. And Carvelis puts it in the zone. No icing. Warren goes hustling after it. Carvelis keeps it in. But it comes out to the out to the other end. And Warren with it. He gets broken up. Shot goes wide. Terralik. They can't get it out. Now they do. Right, no icing, no icing. Martel goes after it. Hakes keeps it in. Hakes. Hustles after. Oh, come on. No penalty there. Come on. Lowther keeps it in. William Lynn is out there. He takes a hit. Hakes after it. Broken up. Kept in by Martel. Nice play by Giacomo. Goes behind the net. Kept in by the fisherman. They were on a line change. 
Orlando, what a nice play. Oh, he had Hakes, but it went over his stick. Cunningham out there, has Hakes to Jewel. Score! Colby Jewel makes it 2-1 to one, Gloucester. And I think Hakes with another assist. And that was the first combination. Jewel from Hakes. With a nice setup. Two to one Gloucester. Orlando with it. Orlando throws it in deep. Cade Cooper in the corner after it. Cooper. Okay, yeah, it was uh, it was uh, Jewel from Hakes, just like the first goal. Same combination. Lowther's with it. Cunningham. Good. Jewel. Over to Cooper. Kept in. Shot. And we got a penalty coming up on somebody. High stick. Number 22. Trevor Snow for a high stick, so the fisherman will go on the power play. Warren Carvelis. And Terralek will be the forwards. San Filippo, shot wide. Chase Sargent, uh oh. Puck goes all the way down. San Filippo goes down there. It's stolen out front. And the fisherman restore order. San Filippo gains the blue line. Got some room. Carvelis covers for him at the point. But Medford clears it out of there. Chase Sargent out there, number 23. Carvelis to Orlando. Back to Carvelis. Shot. Save. What a nice setup that was. Two to one, Fisherman. They're on a power play. They got one minute, two seconds remaining on it. Cunningham, Hakes, and Cooper are the forwards. Jewel at the point. Jewel has it. Shot goes wide. Cunningham, uh, Orlando. And he gets broken up. But Cooper tries to get it, but they can't. Goes all the way down to the Gloucester end. Jewel goes after it. Plenty of time, 44 seconds. Here comes Jewel. Out front to Hakes. Oh, we got broken up at the last second. Orlando. That was a nice setup to Cunningham. Shot blocked. Orlando has it. Out to Jewel. Jewel, shot blocked. Orlando goes after it, and Cunningham, um, Jewel couldn't keep it in. The puck was bouncing, but Cunningham has it. Offsides. Oh, I thought Hakes was onside on the far side, but I guess not. Two to one, Fisherman. 11 seconds left on the power play, and then they'll change lines. They'll bring out the second line again. Uh, Terralik, Carvelis. And uh, Colby Warren. Carvelis. Can't get there. Lowthers will go after it. I've been told that the fishermen New Jersey's will have their names on them soon enough. Lowthers. It's kept in. Out front, look out. Oh. 
in Medford right now. We got a penalty coming up on Gloucester. I think we're going to have a slash. Shot goes wide. Medford right now, they're controlling the play right now. They got a delayed penalty coming up. And oh, what have we got here? Lowther took a shove after he touched the puck. And is he going to match it up? Let's see. I don't think he is. Yeah. We got a high stick on it. Um, is it Lajacano? It looks like. Yeah. Lojo, number six. So Medford, they'll get a power play. They take it behind the net. Down low. They go around. Up high to the point again. Good shot. Over the net. That was a nice setup there by the Medford team. Shot wide. San Filippo knocks it away. <coughs> Sargent and San Filippo on defense. <coughs> Jewel and Cunningham are the two forwards on the penalty kill. But right now, Medford has control of the puck. Shot. Save. Comes up high. Out to the point. Save again. And the fishermen get it out of there. Cunningham goes hustling after it. Oh, no. Is it a call that? Oh, come on. Cunningham's going to go to the box. And that will give Medford a two-man advantage for a full minute. Actually, a minute and one second. That was a terrible call. That was not a takedown. Cunningham was upset about it, and I didn't blame him. All right, you got to kill this. Big junction in this game right here for Gloucester. Charlie Terelik loses the face off. Goes behind the net. Lowther's is out there with Orlando and Terelik. Those are the three skaters for Gloucester. So Medford, they're in control right now. Over to the other side, shot, save. Nick Tarantino. So Cooper comes out with San Filippo. Terrelick and Lowther's go off. Koopa wins the draw, goes in the corner. Orlando, he's killing valuable time. Koopa lost his stick. Orlando gets taken down, no call. Shot, save, rebound. Tarantino gets it out of there. <coughs> Here comes Medford on the counter attack. Look out. Pass. Behind the net. One man's back. It's a five on four now. Shot. Goes wide. Rebound. Save. Kicking it out. Out front. Score! Number 11. Max Parallax ties the game at two. Power play goal for Medford. So Gloucester comes, responds with their third line. The shots on goal are 15-13. Medford uh, really cut that in half. 
with the two-man power play they just had. Puck goes in the Medford, uh, Medford zone. Medford with it. Stolen by Martell. Puts it in deep. And it comes, it comes Medford, 2 on one Shot. Save. <laughs> Kept in. Shot. Save. And the puck goes out of play. Shots on goal. And now 15 to 14. Medford is caught up in that department. And they also caught up on the score <laughs> scoreboard. It's 2 to 2. 6.20 left, second period. Thank you for tuning in to KPN Live. Coverage of Gloucester High Hockey here tonight. KPN Savings Bank Tournament. We'll be here tomorrow night, too. We don't know what time yet. Here comes Gloucester. Warren. Try to feed Terelik, but he couldn't find him. Terelik takes a hit. Kept in. Oh, just missed. Carvelis keeps it in. Comes to the near side. Warren after it. Kept in by San Filippo. Terelik is there. Terelik. San Filippo keeps it in. Yeah, but it comes outside the zone. Fisherman touch up. And Terralik goes after it. San Filippo keeps it in. Terralik shot. Save. Rebound. Save. Rebound. And we got a battle going on. And we got some after the whistle stuff too. And let's see if anything comes of this. No, nope. can't call everybody. <laughs> All right, no calls. The Cunningham Cooper Jewel line is back out there. Lothis throws it in, but it ends up in the Gloucester bench. Face off will be in the neutral zone. 5-14 left, second period. Score tied at two. Face off will be at center ice. Here comes Bedford. Broken up by Joel. Lothis gets it out of there. Cunningham, Jewel, offsides. Boy, this referee is right on top of those offside calls tonight. So the face-off in the uh, Medford zone. No, I'm, it was supposed to be in the neutral zone, yeah. It was offsides. Cunningham had to tell the ref. <laughs> Cooper coming in. He's got no one there. Medford clears it out. Here comes Medford on the counterattack. Kept in. Deflected. Goes over to Jewel. Medford trying to take the lead, but he missed. Cunningham. Offsides. The puck came outside the zone. Then it went right back in, but the Medford team was offsides. Four and a half minutes left, second period. 
Score tied at two. Orlando over to Lothers. Lothers up to Jewel. Jewel up to Cunningham. Cunningham, he's got Cooper. Cooper has it. Cooper takes it behind the net. Up front to Jewel. Shot goes wide. Jewel looking for the hat trick. Be a, it'll be a pure hat trick, too. Orlando. Shot blocked. And we have an icing on the Medford team. So the faceoff will go back down to the Medford zone. Connor Mahoney comes out for Gloucester with Liam McKay and Jackson Pierce. San Filippo and Lojo are on the D. So this is a fourth line for Gloucester. Pierce hustling after it. San Filippo takes a hit. And here comes Medford. And here come the fishermen. They break it out of the zone. Pierce with it. Pierce shot. Save. Behind the net. Comes up to San Filippo. And the fishermen put it back in. They get a line change. William Lynn comes out. William Lynn. Lynn. No, this, um, excuse me. That's Carvelis. Carvelis. Down low to Terelik. And Carvelis goes after it. Behind his own net. He's broken up. Just behind the Gloucester net. Goes to the other side. Carvelis is there. He's got Charlie Terelik in the middle. Can't get it to him. But Terelik does. Offsides. Chris Carvelis did all he could to get back onside. But the ref said no. Yeah, he, tried, he did everything. Face off in the neutral zone. 2-2 two -two the score. Orlando. Medford knocks it back in. Jewel goes in after it. Out front and kept in by... Save. Rebound. Save. Nick Tarantino. A little shoving going on down there. Is he calling a penalty? No, he's going to match him up. All right, Chase Sargent and number 11 for the uh, Medford team. Vincent Castro Jr. All right, so it's uh, five on five. Pucks behind the net. And the Fishman try to get it out. Now they do. Cunningham with Cooper. Cunningham shot. Save. And Lothers throws it in deep. Fishman got to touch up, and they do. They go after it. Cunningham with a hit. Here comes Cunningham. He's got Cooper with him. Cunningham makes a move. To Jewel. Jewel couldn't get a shot off. And it's going to be an icing on the uh, Medford team. So 115 left second period. Scored tied at two. So 
So the faceoff will go back down to the Colossa end. I mean, excuse me, the Medford end. William Lynn is out there, number nine. Charlie Terelick. And Pierce. Pierce. Number 17. San Filippo keeps it in with a nice play. It goes to the far side. It comes outside the zone. One minute to play in the period. San Filippo goes after it. Nice play to Pierce. And they get it outside the zone, but they throw it right back in. <coughs> Here comes Lynn. Pierce. Offsides. Well, that, that one was clearly offsides. 28 seconds left. Second period. Carvellis hustles after it. Lothers with it. Banks it off the boards. Jewel with it. Jewel finds Carvellis. And it throws it right back in. That will probably do it for this period. So at the end of two periods of play, the score, the Gloucester Fisherman 2, the Medford Mustangs 2. We'll be back for third period action. Everybody, welcome back. Third period action coming up. Score tied at two. It seems like the fishermen should be up a little bit more. Well, the, the game is tied. But they've had to clear, ed, uh, clear the edge in play in this game. But the, towards the end of each period, they've seemed to get a little lazy. And... Um, they give up a goal. Score tied at two. Pick up the fisherman now.
And like I said, the winner of this game will play for the championship, the KPN Savings Bank Tournament Championship tomorrow night against Barrington and Rhode Island. They beat Marblehead earlier tonight, two to one, which was an, in which was an excellent game. To donate to KPN Live, go to tinyurl.com slash KPN Live or go to the QR uh, code on your screen to make a donation. Any amount of money is uh, fantastic. All right, here we go. Third period. Orlando has it. Tries to find Jewel, but can't. Medford, shot goes wide. Here comes Jewel. Gets it out of the zone. Goes behind the net. He goes after it again. Good hustle by Jewel. Jewel. Can't get it out there. Medford throws it in deep. Orlando goes in the corner. Out front, save. Nice setup there by the Medford team. Second line out there for Gloucester. Kept in at the point, shot wide. Taralik on the far side. Taralik. He's in the corner there with Lojo. Here comes Warren, Colby Warren. Couldn't connect with Terelik. And they throw it right back in on uh, Tarantino. Carvelis has it on the near side. Carvelis makes a nice move, gets it out of the zone, makes a good pass to Terelik. Terelik is knocked off the puck. And here comes the Medford team. San Filippo. And we got a penalty coming up on Gloucester. San Filippo's going out for a takeout, a takedown. Well, they're going to call it interfer interference. So Gloucester will be short handed. So this Medford team continues to hang in there. They will go on the power play right now. They got their top line out there. Face off, shot. Tarantino ties it up. They call it two minutes for interference. Puck is down low. Method has possession. Up high to the point. Shot. Save again. <coughs> Hakes goes out. Cunningham goes out. Jewel comes Jewel and Cooper, Chase Sargent, and Lojo. Those are the four skaters. Out front. They're trying to stuff it home. They can't do it. Behind the net, Sargent there. Deflected, goes behind the net wide. Medford got a good power play going here. Good zone time. They're in control. They get it to the point. Shot. 
Save again. Cooper can't quite get there. Oh, he does. Blocks the shot. Jewel hustles after it. Jewel. Trying to come out with it. He does. Jewel. Oh, he had Cunningham wide open, but he couldn't give him the puck. But he steals it. Cunningham steals it. No one there. And here comes uh, Medford on the counterattack. They gained the blue line. Shot. Goes wide. Comes all the way out to the neutral zone. Lothers. Goes be behind the net. Orlando has it. Orlando gets rid of it. And it comes outside the zone. Ten seconds left on the power play. Charlie Terelik. Stolen by Cunningham. He's got Terelik with him. Up from back to Terelik. No. It wouldn't go in. Boy, that was a good setup. Shot. Save. Cunningham. Here comes Brent. Nice move. Brent. He's got Carvelis with him. But here comes Medford on the counterattack. He was broken up. And Tarantino get, gets rid of it. It goes out of play. The shot's on goal at 21-21 now. Score tied 2-2. Ten and a half minutes left, third period. Hakes, they come out with it. Carvelis trying to get there. Hakes has it to Warren. Tries to find Hakes, couldn't get it to him. <coughs> Carvelis keeps it in with a nice play. But Medford takes it away. Carvelis in the corner. Colby Warren comes out with it. Here comes Colby. He makes a good move. He's got Hakes with him. Hakes. Can't get it, but Warren has it. Warren. Shot. Save. What a save. Pierce. Pierce is out there. Sam Sanfilippo out there. And that's going to be an icing. Yep. All right. Medford ices it. Some pressure there by the fishermen. 2-2, two, two. nine and a half minutes left, third period. Semifinals of the Cape Ann Savings Bank Tournament. I think it's worth noting, if this game ends in a tie, it will go in the standings as a tie, but we'll play overtime for tournament purposes. All right, Koopa has it. Try to get it to Cunningham. He couldn't control it. And here comes Medford. Orlando rubs him off. Lowthers. Up to Jewel. Jewel finds Cunningham. Cunningham, he's got Cooper. Finds Cooper. Back out. Oh, we got broken up at the last second. But score! Brett Cunningham. And I think you're going to get an assist from Cade Cooper. With exactly nine minutes left in the third period, the fishermen take the lead, three to two. Carvelis, Terrellick was offsides. Three to two, Glosser, goal by Brent Cunningham. And I think Cooper's going to get an assist. And something's come on the ice. And the referee went down and get it. It's 
second line is out there. Warren, Carvelis, and Terelik. Terelik. Unassisted goal. Terelik goes after it. Warren banks it off the boards. Gets his own pass. Terelik comes out with it. Terelik swings it around. He swings it around again. Tries to stuff it. Couldn't. San Filippo couldn't get a shot in. But here comes Medford. It's broken up. Nice play. Carvelis has it. He's got Terelik. Gave it to Terelik. He's got Carvelis out front. Couldn't find him. Rebound. Kept in by the fisherman. Still on the far boards. Kept in. That was uh, Cunningham and uh, uh, Carvelis kind of bumped into each other. That's going to be an ice. Okay, icing on the, the Medford team. And since the fishermen took the lead, they seem to be a little more energized. Three to two Gloucester. Gloucester trying to earn a spot in the championship game of the KPN Savings Bank Tournament. Cooper. Cooper has it. Shot is blocked. Medford comes out with it. Uh-oh, look out. Number 13, he's in. Oh, what a play by Cunningham. Cunningham went down and slid on the ice. Look at Jewel Hustle. Oh, they called it an ice. Oh, come on. I thought the kid at center ice touched it, no? Just missed it. Okay, I thought the kid at center ice had touched it. And Jewel... I think thought the same thing. He went hustling after it. All right, face off in the Gloucester zone. Medford wins the face off. And they keep it in. Jewel gets rid of it. Has Cunningham. Looking for Cooper. And he gets broken up. Medford trying to get it out. But Jewel is keeping it along the boards. Along the boards with Cooper. William Lynn comes in now. Lynn. San Filippo keeps it in with a nice play. Hakes goes in after it. And here comes Medford. Goes behind the net. Will Lowther's there. Or Lowther's. Here comes Hakes. He's got William Lynn with him. And he can't find him. And the puck goes behind the net. Here comes Medford. They, oh, they team up on him. Here comes Hakes, no call. Hakes takes a hit. Lothers with it. Colby Warren. Colby throws it in the zone. Carvelis goes hustling after it. Nice hustle by Carvelis. And Lothers couldn't keep it in. Orlando gets it up to Carvelis. Carvelis is broken up. Orlando has it. Throws it in the zone. Fisherman is still offsides. Now they touch up. And the puck goes in the uh, Medford bench. 5.05 left third period. Three to two, fishermen. And this Medford team, they came in four and zero. Oh. 
Um, I kind of criticized it for who they played, but they're not a bad team. They're playing really well here tonight. Here comes Medford on the on the attack. Jewel gets it up to the Koopa. And Koopa loses control. Jewel steals it. Jewel makes a nice move. Finds Koopa. Koopa finds San Filippo. San Filippo shot. Save. Wow, that was a quick whistle. Quick whistle on that one. The Barrington Rhode Island Eagles are waiting for the winner of this game. Eight o'clock tomorrow night will be the championship game. Still 4.35 left in this one. Back up to San Filippo. Shot goes wide. Lojo fans. In Medford. And look out. They got a guy uh, floating. Carvelis gets it in the zone. Colby Warren goes after it. Don't let him get behind you. Taralik. San Filippo out front. Look out. Carvelis was there. Nice job by Carvelis. Taralik has it. Taralik takes a hit, but Carvelis takes it back. Shot save. Orlando throws it in. Deflected. Oh, just missed. Cunningham with a hit. Uh, Terrellick out front. No, oh, why? That was uh, that was Carvelis. Oh no! Look out! Look out! Tarantino almost lost it. Cooper de uh, Cunningham deflects it in deep. Jewel goes after it. Cooper out front to Cunningham. Jewel shot save. Orlando shot save. Cooper has it. Shot. Sale goes wide. And I'm sure Medford thinking about getting that goalie out. But right now they can't. It's broken up. Jewel. Shot. Goes wide. Jewel looking for the hat trick. Couldn't get it. Jewel gets it up to Orlando. Orlando over to uh, Sargent. Sargent over to Jewel. Jewel to Cooper. Cooper back to Jewel. Back up high. William Lynn. Shot goes wide. And we have an icing on Medford with 219 remaining in the game. 3 to 2. Gloucester leads it. I want to thank all you good folks for tuning in tonight. KP and Sammy's Bank Holiday Tournament. Tomorrow night we'll have the, the consolation game will be at six. The championship game will be at eight. And here comes Medford. Two on one. And the puck, they couldn't make the connection. And they try to get out. Terralik has it. Four on one. Terralik. Gets it out front. Oh, with a tough pass to handle. That was an aerial pass. Tough pass to handle. Terralik. And right now the fishermen are doing a good job of making sure they can't get that goalie out. Terralik. Shot. Save again. A minute and a half left. Here comes Medford. Shot. Tarantino gloves it. Wow.
One minute, 28 seconds left. The goalie is still there. What you wait for now is his best opportunity to get him out. And we have a timeout. Okay, timeout Medford, I believe. Yep, timeout Medford. What was the number? White ticket, Jim. What? <laughs> there you see the fisherman right there. Coach Geary giving some instructions. Been very successful since he's been here, Coach Geary. Coach of the Medford team, Mark Bates. Probably wants to get his goal now while he has a chance. And he is. Yep, okay. He called the timeout. Probably to give his team a breather. The goalie is out. 128 remaining. Face off in the zone. And the fishermen trying to get it out of there. And they don't. Nice play. Jewel trying to get it out. Can't deflect it. Joe Orlando with a kick. Orlando gets it. No, they keep it. Now they get it out. <coughs> Jewel looking for the hat trick. The net is empty. One minute left in the game. Cooper with a nice play. He gets it out of there. Here comes Jewel. Hat trick bid. Yes. Colby Jewel. And there goes a hat on the ice. So it's four to two. Gloucester leads it with 50 seconds left. And they got some hats down there at the far end. And of course, they're going to make the players pick them up. <laughs> so the players are going to clean the ice. Second line out there, Warren, Carvelis, Terralik. Who's behind the net, Lojo. Then the goalie's back in again for the uh, Medford team. In, goes wide. That was a scary shot. Medford putting on some pressure right now, but Carvelis has it. He gets it out to Terralik. Here comes Charlie. Makes a move. He's in. Shot all over the net. <laughs> Carvelis in there banging around. Ten seconds left. Shot deflected wide. Oh, that was a hit from behind. And Lojo didn't like it. <coughs> and... Lojo thought he was hit from behind, and he took exception to that last hit. And we got some uh, pushing and shoving, let's say. It got broken up kind of quickly by the refs. But the final score, the
The Gloucester Fisherman four. The Medford Mustangs two. So Gloucester tomorrow night will play for the KPN Savings Bank championship game against Barrington, Rhode Island at 8 o'clock. So I'm Phil DeCastro for Jim Capullo. Have a great night, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow night.